So I've seen um, a few questions where someone asked, so uh, what approach should I use for the property investment and the property? So I save up, uh, etc. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to share um, what I do. So what I do is I set um, an amount of money every month. Not much, just an amount of money that every single month I spend to in the property. And if there's a property that month, I'll buy it. If there's no property, then I'll just have to let it stay there and allow it to accumulate over the month until there is a property. Now, I do this for a number of reasons. One, I'm trying to avoid um, putting all my money into one property um, just because I don't know when the next property will be and what the return will be. Right? And if I'm trying to, let's say, for instance, I've been saving money for like six months, so I can buy an exchange lock, even if I know when it will come out, the problem with that is then I'm losing out on all the others. Yeah. So obviously my dividends will come out later and everything will be later. So what I do, even if it's a relationship of 200 grand a month, so what I'm going to say, more, I don't know. But this is I put around 200 grand every month. Then I put 200 grand and this month this comes out. So I put 200 grand for this and then the following in two months, I put 100 grand to get the month that every week and the father to pull you and then the dividend level. And this is not in the right order, by the way. And I keep doing that. What that does is let's just assume that every single month there was a property that came out. So we put in one, two, three, and the six months that took uh, six properties out. Right? Or the 12 months that took 12 properties out. Now, to me, this makes quite a bit of sense because, firstly, the minutes I've got, um, the amount set. Yeah. So the minute I put money in, it's uh, it's sorted. I'm good. Yeah. Something to keep. Um, so that's one. Um, another one. Um, anyway, so that's the first thing. It it, it processes quicker. Right. So I mean, it's not. So this would say let's just assume it took two months or three months for the property to come into our name and to get the it. If I'm doing it every month, I'm going to get the dividend quicker. Not because they just process it quicker physically, but because it's in the order. So I'm in six months and I put money towards the property, then that means that by the time it's six months, maybe I've already got two or three properties that already bring in the dividend and that work that way back. If that makes any sense. And then the last point, because I don't want to make it sound like it should be, the last reason is. Um, let's just assume, because there was a webinar where they said, obviously, real estate is not 100% paid, right? So, my idea is, the last thing I want to do, for instance, is put, let's just say I had 10 grand, right? The last thing I want to do is put 10 grand into the Monroe, and then the Monroe, for some reason, doesn't do well, or the construction delay, or it's not doing as good as we thought it was, or there's a lot of, People that don't rent, whatever the case is. Right. And so now you're not doing as well. Whereas, what I could have done, and this is kind of where the kicker comes in, and it's kind of like the whole um, Ray Dalio situation. And I'll get to that in another video. So instead, if I've got a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and so on, the first thing is if the Monroe gets listed, then this gets listed two months later, this gets listed two months later. By the time this gets lifted, or by the time this gets lifted, the polo field, for instance, I'm getting dividends from the Mundo. So I'm actually getting a thousand plus dividends from the Mundo into the polo field. So, um, yeah, the soul says that. <coughs> the second reason is if the Mundo doesn't do so well, then um, the Kikuyu, so I I'm, I'm, uh, may lose a thousand out of the ten, and the other nine will kind of stuff the I so I lose. Assume that things crash and lose ten percent instead of the hundred that I was putting um, property um, into the manual and that one hundred percent. I'm not saying we lose hundred percent in real estate. It's not really gonna happen. I'm, I'm giving a basic concept um, in that the dividends are, are getting closer earlier. Um, not because of any specific reason other than I put money into property that I was supposed to put. Secondly, 
is that the returns are somewhat similar. So look at 10.9, 12.7, 12.4, um, 10.8, 10. The range is somewhere between say 10.5, I would say 10.3 to what, 12.7. Yeah, it ranges between them. So it's like a 2% deviation. Now, if I put, if I put, first if I put 10,000 into the Slippery system and go, we're getting an internal rate of return projected at 10.9. If I put it into the Sukuyu, so now imagine I put 10,000 into the Sukuyu company, and they're like the internal rate of return is 12.7, then this, uh, here's the example in Sukuyu. So now I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. had I waited a bit more, I would have put in that even better, right? Um, same with the seven and middle. So the point that I'm leaning to is by putting money into each property, I'm not going to get the highest, but I'm going to get the most optimal plus the dividends which I give you in this thing. And you know, after five years, if they decide to sell, they sell. Um, I get my, 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 my cash out, the dividends, get all of that cash out. The new property comes in, I reinvest that in. I know what I'm doing with this. I'm just like in the cash. Every single uh, and so on. And then, now let's just say I'm putting this in every single month for a part of it. It's going to get to a point where I'm making some nice dividends, but on top of that, I'm cashing that. But let's just say I put a thousand into this. Five years later, they're selling this off. And they're selling this off, they're going to take that very same thousand. Plus the thousand that I put in to invest in this particular month, because I'm putting a thousand in every month, assuming me, um, it would then help in that in that situation. Now for two thousand. So now what I'm doing is essentially that the amount that I put in every month has the cash out from each property. So now it's two thousand, and then let's just say the following month or so it, it, that's just my, my strategy. I'm not saying it's the best. To me, it just makes sense. And it's also cutting the need for me to try and figure out what deals are the best and what property I should have been considering and, and all of those situations. And I'm just missing out of what opportunities because I'm not sure what little somebody will be later and so on. So that's just my my idea. And then I'm just like, you know what, I'll just, if I just put money into each of these properties, then it's a matter. And five years down the line, maybe putting 10 dollars of money in, so this is something that I'm not putting in compounding. Every single month, put the money in. And it's also um, going to diversify my uh, portfolio as well. So, it's not a matter of so uh, yeah, yeah, I'm putting in a small amount of money to realize I'm smaller than that. So, every single month, um, I'm just putting money in, and this slowly just going to start with the stuff. So, so, right now, my biggest machine is the full of fuels only now. This is part of the fact. Let's put it into the full of fuels. I know someone's thinking, ah, you, you know, you, you're wasting time, you don't know what to do. Um, sure, a total of a thousand being put in. Um, again, it's not nice, but also realize that I'm doing for the easy public and the easy public. So, it's not just the easy public, you know, I'm not saying only go to the public, only go to the public, I'm basically saying, what I'm doing is I'm putting money into both, but I'm also not putting half off into both. So I put more easy to do the property situation. So this is just my study. Over time it's kind of spread out and diversified. Um so just like a row, um the Kikuyu, I'm putting money into that. Um you know as well, that's a good to kind of spread out a bit more. Uh, and then and so on and so on. If something comes out, you know, there's just a point of massive diversification of the property. And I'll later in the next video explain why I'm taking this particular measure and why I'm diversifying within the real estate and kind of this 
way that Ray Dalio almost can be made. But it's not Ray Dalio's strategy. I'm kind of water shedding, um, watering down to a very basic, simple level of civilian people, specifically in the real estate.